Welcome back to Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. I'm Aneta Felix. Coming up, the innovator creating ICT opportunities in Nigeria's Niger Delta. But before that, the global shortage of fertilizer is driving up food prices and leaving poorer countries facing a crisis as a result of the conflict in Ukraine. Africa relies heavily on imports, so the increase in fertilizer prices means that agricultural sectors on the continent are struggling. Sarah Adam tells us more. Losim Lazaro is a tomato farmer in Arusha, North Tanzania. He grows and sells his produce to a local distribution company. But like many other farmers in Tanzania, he is facing a fertilizer shortage. It has become more expensive for, for me to produce tomato now. And the market price of tomatoes is still the same. Yes, I'm trying to get a thousand boxes per acre. If I'm short of fertilizers, I might get around 500 boxes to 600 boxes per acre. Tanzania relies on fertilizer from Russia and China, the two leading global manufacturers. As a result of current Russia sanctions, the amount of fertilizer available has been halved. Prior to the Russian-Ukraine conflict, a surge in fertilizer costs accounted for a rise in food prices by 30% in Africa. Small farmers across the country are turning to the Mijingu Mines and Fertilizer Company. They are one of the biggest fertilizer manufacturers in Tanzania. They are experiencing a sudden increase in demand and are struggling to fill orders, but are unable to increase their capacity due to heavy taxes. The main challenge we have is we don't have a fair level play ground vis-a-vis -vis with the importers who import fertilizer. You see, uh, we, the manufacturers locally, have to pay a lot of taxes, and where the importers, you know, they they, they have no duty to pay. They have no uh, other you know, taxes to be paid, whereas we as local manufacturers have huge taxes to be paid. Prices of fertilizer have almost tripled over the past 12 months, according to data from the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. A global non-governmental organization that promotes green solution in Africa, AGRA, has suggestions on how Tanzania can become self-sufficient. In the longer term, you need to attract investors and give them concessions and make sure that we get these things locally because dependence on import would have such adverse issues when such stocks would arise. Currently, Tanzania farmers are dependent on subsidized fertilizer from the government, but it is distributed sporadically. The Tanzania Fertilizer Regulatory Authority has been trying to find a solution. Now, with the increased fertilizer production, production in the country, we are hoping that the prices for different fertilizer will drop to the extent that farmers can be able to afford. Africa is a long way from breaking its dependence on foreign imports of this vital product. On the continent, Ethiopia is the only major producer in this sector. Other private African companies are in the process of upscaling production. But this is still short of the amount required to fill the needs of the agriculture sector.